the mobile vaccination van made its first stop at Central Estate in Sha Tin. Running from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., the pop-up clinic offers inoculation services with a BioNTech vaccine. Taking the opportunity is Mr. Lee, who has completed his two-dose course of the vaccine back in the U.K. Here, he took his booster shot after being requested by England's National Health Services. I just walk in here, and then they just queue up, and then fill up some form, and that's it. It's very convenient. Here, the arrangement and everything is, is very good compared to UK. Others, like Sammy, took her first dose here because it was convenient. Because very, uh, very easy to come here. Um, this is the first time. Each mobile vaccination site has around eight temporary tents like this one here for people to rest after getting a jab. Under social distancing measures, each tent accommodates four to six people. The site's operator says the services were met with enthusiastic reception on its first day of rollout, especially among the elderly. The contractor added if appointments exceed their 300-dose daily capacity, more jabs could be arranged on the spot. Outreach services will be extended to three other neighborhoods in Kwai Cheng, Kun Tong and Chun Moon in turn till January 5th. When inspecting a school's vaccination campaign with students, Secretary for the Civil Service Patrick Nip denies claims that border reopening talks are linked to the city's vaccination rates. Still, he says, if Hong Kong continues its zero infection streak, that would help ease cross-border travels with the mainland. As more than half of the city's inoculation centers are set to cease operations by the end of January, vaccination booths will be set up at 11 public hospitals next Friday. Immunization services are also offered at more than a thousand private clinics. Jackie Lin, TV News.